Hi guys. Okay. I think I have this all set up and recording. Dun dun dun. We're gonna walk through some portfolios. Some people send some in. I'm also gonna roast my own because it's old and I haven't updated it in a hot minute. Also, thank you to everybody who sent in portfolios. I super beyond appreciate it. Um, you know, if you want to put any of your portfolios and I, I have a Facebook group for this little free course and uh, a Discord group. So feel free to just put them in there. So my portfolio, I never really made that specific in terms of like industries and people I was focusing on. One, it hasn't really been a problem in these 10 years. So I have my copy here. I have a note that obviously so much of it is not on here because it was under some kind of, you know, content restriction or wasn't allowed to be shared or et cetera, et cetera. Really, because a lot of it sometimes is um, email marketing. A lot of it's like backend sales funnel stuff. But these are some of the ones I like. Obviously, they're all over the board. We have marketing. Um, which one was this one? A business coach. Um, um, not a business coach and not a tarot card reader, but somewhere in the in between. <laughs> uh, you know. I could have easily, if I wanted to give this a boost, really focus on some industries that I was targeting now and find the portfolio pieces that best aligned with that. Like if I was going to go all in on like B2B marketing or a business coach, et cetera, et cetera. So could have fixed that. Um, posts on other sites. God, these are all just like all the guest posts. Once again, I could easily have summarized. I could take a lot of these out. A lot of these are just old, but they are all the topics I write for. Um, you know, I could put in cute little graphics to kind of, for each one of these like categories, like fitness, and then put like some kind of like something or fill them out more, you know, um, copywriting Q and A's. This is something also you can do if you're trying to build your portfolio. I just went straight into Reddit, offered to review a whole bunch of sites. Some people thought I was like, scamming and just trying to sell my services and I was like I'm not and like you know people send in um their sites and then I went through and like reviewed them one by one and like what I thought they could do or add and make it better so there's that um just something if you wanted to add and that one out of everything I've done on my portfolio that's the one that gets the most um feedback from potential clients who are like I liked that because then they can really see my like one-on-one -on -one skills which is why you should also add case studies or other s things in there that show your one-on-one -on -one work also i scroll a lot and really fast so apologies if i'm making anybody nauseous um and the testimonials i could easily hunt through emails and social things and add more in there this is a really short only eight i could easily beef those out more um you know my tweet from Murray Foley, for Leo, <laughs> you know, humble brag. Um, but I could, obviously they're very tiny. You can't even see half of them, which is itty bitty could fix that up a lot. You can't like, instead of doing like a carousel like this, you can't read it. Um, I could easily make those bigger. So when you're scrolling through, you don't have to click on each one to see what it says. Let's see, Winches Around the Web. Oh, these are just like interviews and stuff I've done. Also other sites I own, which is a lot now. I just looked the other day and I have like 70 sites I've written for throughout the years and a handful that I own. Um, yeah, uh, the newspaper pieces and the college papers are not really relevant anymore. I could easily take those out. I put those in years ago. More of a way to show like, hey, I've been writing for a very, very long time professionally and for money. So. Man, these are old. Wow. Wow, okay. <laughs> anyway, could easily uh, fix it up, narrow it down, include some more skills that I do. I don't really have, like, skills in here. Like, oh, okay, yeah, I do SEO or I do... Whatever it is that I can do, I could easily include that or courses I've taken. I haven't really taken that many. Um, yeah, 
I could easily hack away at least probably half of that and still have it be like a very strong and much more focused. Like this is a musician I wrote an about page for, which was like just fun. That was one of the more fun projects I've had throughout the years. Um, yeah. Okay. On to user submitted ones that people have sent in. Um, full contact. This is someone who is in my mentorship program. So I feel like I should just say that before, <laughs> you know, um, yeah. Okay. So this is his home page. We'll look more at the portfolio, but this is, you know, I liked that it was really short to the point contact information right out the gate. Copywriting makes things happen. Fact. You know, it's not about him. Like you don't log on here and you're like, okay, it's all about like me, 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 me. It's all about like, Hey, uh, You know, this would maybe be a little stronger. You'd be amazed at how, like, mm, I have not had enough coffee this morning to brainstorm away. Um, it works. It works. But maybe just shorten that up, like, ever so slightly. Um, what I can do for you. All, also, all of these I haven't, like, fully looked at before filming. I just wanted my, like, raw and filter tape before I was, like, ready with a script of ideas. Okay, good. A few things I'm good at, like literally the actual list of things right there, which is always helpful. One of three categories. My clients follow. Yep, I can write down the time. And, yep. What is copywriting? Yeah, this is another thing that could be just shortened a little bit. What is copywriting? Copywriting helps people make purchasing decisions copywriting helps websites sell more um you know a lot of people don't really like to come face to face with the idea that copywriting and marketing is very persuasive and has made them buy things that they did not know they wanted people don't like to know that they're being like not manipulated but so i would i would just put this in terms of um how it helps them sell more, like it helps them, not like how they've been impacted by copywriting, but how the business owner can use copywriting to make more sales, build an online community, etc., etc. Also, one of my neighbor's cars is the alarm is going off, dude. It's eight. Oh, okay, never mind. It went off. Just in case you hear it in the background. Ah, oh, good morning. Okay, portfolio. All right. I mean, I like having a picture. Maybe something cuter, like you with a pet or like you out in nature. I don't know. Whatever your kind of like brand is. But I do like that there's a photo there because people like to see who they're working with and who they um, are hiring, basically. Like you're not some shady shader, shadester on the internet. Okay, so I have looked through his work before. And he's in the, like, HVAC, home construction, carpet cleaning, like, all of that kind of umbrella. A few other things, which I'll show you. But just on a side tangent, HVAC, and is that how it's pronounced? HVAC? Like, I don't know how it's actually pronounced. I've only ever seen it written in my life. I've never, like, talked to someone. I'm like, oh, yeah, the HVAC community. Um, pays surprisingly stupidly well just for people out there who are debating getting into it air conditioning um and under that umbrella also like walling drywalls um carpet cleaning lawn care tree removal etc etc it is sometimes the most boring copy in the world to write but i've written a few for like um countertop companies um, tree removal was another one pays so well and needs so much help because most sites out there are absolutely so boring. Moving on side tangent. Um, you know, and a lot of this is the kind of copy that this industry uses. Like it's, it's not 
Although I personally think because I'm a copywriter who focuses very heavily on personality and like personality driven copy. I also understand that industries like this don't do like fun and quirky kind of like um, copy. A lot of this industry is based around, okay, well, if you, uh, you know, like a warning, like don't fuck up your house basically is like what really it comes down to, you know? Yeah, like this. Okay, you, you put a new flooring and then it got wet and it got ruined. This is a lot of the type of copy that's out there. So this, these pieces I've already gone through before. I thought were strong because this is exactly how it works. You know, um, warning, like heads up, you know. Um, okay, this is turning into like why copy is good or not. And I don't want this video to be like 30 hours long. But this is very accurate to how this industry is. You know, this. Okay, he wrote about drones that inspect a roof which is a big thing which i did not know until i wrote for in this industry that like roof inspection huge with drones giant so you know a great standard sales letter um i also liked he had this in here of like a a santa store like it was a little bit spiced up copy of different and it shows that his skills can be adapted to a lot of things like obviously I know personally that like his experiences in those first kind of industries more so than like working at a, at a Christmas store which I, I don't know if he like did or not but you know and it was fun uh it's in the shop stepped into the magical journey of today and yesteryears with Christmas after like it just shows that his skill is not just one dimensional there is a little bit that's why i think it's fun to throw in like something outside of the industries you're focusing on just to show that you can do other things so yep and then you know is this also the first one okay well this is i'm sure he did not mean to put the same one in at the bottom but um Standard. Great. Right to the point. If I was in this industry, I'd be like, great. He has experience. He knows what he's doing. You know, contact him on. Yeah. Could probably flush that out a little bit more. Contact page. Um... Yeah. The about page should be flushed out a little bit more about him, his experience. So people like to know who they're hiring. Fun things. Your all of the work you've done throughout the years, a little bit, you know, sometimes it's fun to include like, Sta is also the proud owner of three German shepherds or, you know, like fun. Sometimes just people want to feel like they know you because before they give you like thousands of dollars, they need to build some kind of moderate connection. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you know, super right to the point. Here's what I do. Here's my pieces. Here's what I can help you with. You know, and then obviously as he writes more pieces, his portfolio will extend out. It wouldn't be bad to put in the portfolio, like, actual work experience, especially because I know he's been working in these industries for a very long time. Because if they're if you're working for or pitching a company and you include in there, hey, I've also been in this industry for 25 years, you're not just some, like, newbie who's, like, did something else unrelated entirely and now you're like oh i want to get into copywriting for this industry it just gives you a little bit light up on the other competition out there moving on okay this one i have not looked at yet just a lewis all right i mean i love it i love when people include pictures right out the gate because it helps kind of include okay great little short portfolio right to the point hello there uh dashing you're probably here to see my thing. I see. I like copy that has personality and a little kick to it. Like, I like that. That would get me. But also, that's just the kind of business owner I am. I'm not. You know, we'll see who she's kind of pitching here. Okay, I like it. She kind of made like a whole entire campaign on this one offer. A few things. I would just make some of these pieces. Like, um, I would put in some kind of like picture of the food there. I mean, I don't know. You're like. Photoshop abilities or something like a kitchen or something just to make these ads a little bit more like, ooh, spicy, you know, stand out. Um, 
but I like that. This is like a whole campaign top to bottom of social media posts and things that they could do. Get an idea of what she could do top to bottom. Okay, yeah, I like that. I'd maybe make a fake Like the like uh, like the little logo there, uh, maybe not a logo, but at least like product in action, like kind of spice it. Just fit, like really, just polish up the ads and finish these. I really like them. You could probably just like Photoshop in a picture of like food right there or something, just to really make these look like you know, because just the blank squares. I like, and of course, I understand personally that like as the copywriter you're really just writing the words but clients just need that little extra hand holding sometimes to really like get their brains around what this is and how it's offered i love it i love it that's a really great solid college essays i personally think that like um look at all that theory i like that <laughs> Um, I think it's good to add those in there. You know, sometimes it just adds a little spice it up. Oh, Tomboy Toes. I like them. They're a cool company. Very cool. Worked with them on a few. Um, was it Tomboy Toes? Or was it Depp or something? Either way. Never mind. Similar brands. Like them. I mean, you know, I would really um, change that. Because... These are solid pieces. Like, you don't have to put them down in your way of, like, you know, oh, I just kind of made these on the fly. Like, no, these are these are good. Like, um... Doesn't matter if you didn't let her shoot streams. expensive. It's not the price tag. I hope you came up with that because I love that line and I feel like you should actually send these to Tomboy Toes and pitch them. Just, like, on a side note. I really like this sock drawer idea. I would... I mean, I don't know if, like, clothing is something that she's, like, personally pitching, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I would go through and find, like, a cool sock company, maybe, and, like, really finish this out and, like, just add in a few more, like, because I love the sock drawer idea. I think that's a really unique angle, like, shoes and socks and that kind of thing. Just flesh that out. I love, I'm loving this. Just, like, maybe two more pieces of, like, socks and, like, I like that. I don't know if you want to be like a, a fashion copywriter, but you could almost do like sock drawer, closet, shoe cabinet. I don't know. Whatever. Like top to bottom. Just, you know, we'll find out. Okay. About me. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I get the solid idea. I would maybe just um, cut this in half, summarize it up really quick. Clients have like ADHD and like, well, relatable. And, uh... Maybe make it as long as, like, here? Maybe that? Just, like, bullet points of why they need what they need. Also, just like the other one, include a little bit more about yourself, who you are. People like to know who they're working with. I know sometimes people don't like to put pictures of themselves, which is totally fair. I recommend it. But at least just something about you. Like, did you go to school? Did you study this? Are you just, obviously, you're a part-time bookworm, relatable content. What is my hair doing? And, uh, just, you know, a little bit more. Did you go to school for writing? Um, do you write blogs? Like, what What the hell is my hair? Whatever. Um, you know, all that kind of stuff of, like, what you can... Oh, wow. Okay, I'm just going to shave my head. That's fine. Anyway, a little bit more about you. Like what you see. Obviously, this is a contact page. Love it. I, I love that. Solid work, Jessica. Beautiful across the board. Great job. Kitchen appetite, sock drawer. God, keep going with that. Keep going with that. Kitchen appetite. Sachor. You could easily play on, like, the idea of, like, rooms and areas and things in your house. And, like, flesh. If you wanted to. Whatever. I'm really going, like, far out. Anyway. Love it. Solid work. Oh, I just wanted to show this one. This girl did not submit her portfolio to me. I just love her work. She has a YouTube channel, I think. That's really cool. This is one of the most coolest portfolios I think I've ever seen. Um, it's her video production. And I think a lot of these are like, yeah, her YouTube content. But it's real. I mean, 10 out of 10. I don't even have my YouTube channel. I don't even think I have my website. I should fix that. Anyway, but like all of her videos up top 
which obviously are animated and so cool. I don't know how to do that. This is beyond me. This is not a copywriter. She is in like video graphic, like all of that, you know, I mean, look at how cool Star Wars playing Tarts holiday animation set. I mean, how cute are these? I mean, obviously she writes copy a long to go with them, but so kind of sort of portfolio uh, copywriting, but look at how cute this is. Sabrina Cruz. God, I mean, this, and then I just wanted to show this, her technical expertise, see how you can put in little logos or whatever of the skills that you have here. That's a really good way, depending on what kind of skills you have and what kind of courses you've taken, you could put in something like this to show everything that you can do. Some clients, clients like to know that. And then obviously she's worked with like, you know, huge companies, all these down here. So that makes it strong. Of course, you always want to kind of name drop if you've worked with companies that are big and out there. Okay, moving on. Next one, Melissa sent this in. Papa Studios for rent. I mean, these are really cool. This is really out there. I assume that you have a lot more work because this is so polished. Um, yeah, wait, okay. Yeah, God, solid. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, Finding a deal on everything we're close to electronic. I mean, this is great. I assume, obviously, you're a real estate and or travel copywriter. Um, oh, I see. Okay, got it. These are each different. Okay, this is your portfolio. This is your copywriting. These are the property listings you've written. Got it. Okay. Got it. Fully on board. I mean, most of the time clients will just do, they'll literally, like I've seen, like, and I've been in the room when people are debating hiring someone and the first thing they do is they go, okay. And then they like, <laughs> they like blaze through and go, okay, she's done things before. Like once they finally are going to like hire and decide on someone, they like really kind of like go through the fine tuned throne. But for the most part, they just blaze through between like contenders. And like start narrowing it down. This is why I'm such a big fan of like pitching one on one because you just have, you're not competing with 500 other people. So your portfolio automatically stands out by default. Anyway. Um, okay. I obviously won't like deep dive into all. I like them though. You always have room to breathe here. Oh, that is great copy. I, can I rent this right now? 11.50 per month. I'm ready. Let's do that. <laughs> Very cool. I mean, super solid. This is great. This is something that so many real estate agents need. Like, you know, I'll find out. I'll update through the rest of your site. But like, I assume that you have full-time work. I assume that you're already working with a whole bunch of real estate agents. And if not, like, I would just go to like Zillow.com and just like blaze through every single real estate agent out there and people like trying to rent their homes like maybe airbnb hosts i don't know i don't know how airbnb works really like in terms of um being able to like reach out to like people on there anyway um beautiful work open house madrid campus beautiful Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah. Editing work, radio work. Wow. Wow. Beautiful portfolio, Melissa. Beautiful. Um, this is so professional. I would, I would minorly recommend, um, getting your own domain. Only because when you send that, I mean, because your, your portfolio almost is so professional that like the domain doesn't work i mean obviously i don't know your finances like i know for some people like they're they're you know that 10 bucks for like that domain you're like no fam not right now like i got student loans whatever but at some point just just buy something fun that like 
because this is a solid ass professional portfolio this is great beautiful work 10 out of 10 um oh my god and photography too on top of that you know i would include something god solid work jesus my god i don't own a uh real estate but I can see that you obviously are very passionate about travel, people visiting places, people enjoying the places they go to. Um, that dog, I could cry at how cute that is. Um, you know, tourism. Anyway, um, something I would include in here, maybe some kind of thing that you can offer. Like, okay, wait, let me go to your homepage. Hang on. Love it. Picture of you. Solid. Language lover. Clearly. Um, you know, I can tell that, like, traveling and, like, all of that is, like, obviously your, um, you know, I'd include something, um, like, really spell it out for clients. Like, okay, I can write travel guides, real estate listings, um, translation. I mean, I don't know how good your, like, language like translation is but if, if it's good enough you could offer that um you know just a little bit like a little column of like blog posts like things that you can do because obviously some clients may have no idea what they can see what you've done but they don't know what you currently offer if that makes sense and i know you may be in a, in a position where you're like i'll just take anything and i just want to pay my bills with writing which I fully understand um that's all I would do is just like write that out of here's what I can offer because it's obviously a lot. I mean, obviously, maybe you want to even include like photo photography in there, maybe. Um, cool, cool. Solid. Wow. Hey, now I, I need to I need to no. Oh, my God. Melissa, first of all, <laughs> fix these little, no, not you. Oh God. Okay. Down here. These little, no, these little, these little social media widgets. Hang on. Oh, wait. Okay. My, my site's not, hang on. Let me, there, down there. Those little guys, fix those. <laughs> No pressure. I don't know if you, you know, web design is your thing, but those, those little, that little Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Instagram, fix those. Cause I was about to follow you on Twitter, which I still will. Like just message me. Cause I want to, I, I like your work a lot. Very cool. Very solid. Give me a chance to follow you. Cause it goes to witch's Twitter. I don't, I don't want to follow witch. It's not, I don't, I don't need it. <laughs> your work. Fix those. And then message me. Thank you. Okay. Um, Contact, solid, about me. Great, another picture of you, solid. Glad you're here. Interested in covering, real estate company. Love it, I love the. I love these personal things. I think that adds such a good, solid touch. Hit me up for a chat about Traveler Cats. Yes. Uh, Cool. I would maybe um, flesh this out a little bit. Obviously, copywriting is your interest in your career. I would just say that like, I became interested in copywriting. Um, now I help, like now kind of like where you're at. Like now I help travel-based companies book reservations. Now I help X, Y, and Z. Like the business kind of wants to understand where they fit in your about you as a person kind of um if that makes sense, you know, like just, just, I became interested in copywriting. A lot of people I've noticed really have a hard time kind of talking about themselves in a way that, uh, how do I word it? Of like, oh, n not bragging, but kind of like, okay, like here's where I am now. Here's how I can help you. Here's why you should hire me like kind of energy, which is hard to do. It's much easier to point to like our past accomplishments. Like I graduated college, like, look, it's great. You know, I can speak multiple languages, cool, but like, you just brag about yourself a little bit, you know? Like, what what do you do? How do you help companies? Just like a little, maybe like a paragraph in between there, just a little bit, it's stand on that. Cool, solid, beautiful word. Solid. 
And you, I love that you chose the pictures of you like out and about because it just plays into the great idea of um, that this is your expertise and this is what you do and this is what you're passionate about, like traveling. Like some people will have like, oh, traveling. And then it's like them like in their office is like the picture. And I'm like, no, these little things matter. <laughs> Solid work. Wow. Anyway, if it's your Twitter, I want to follow you. Okay, next one. This one. Um, cool. I always like when home pages are simple and right to the point. Blog content. Copywriter. Um, just a little minor, minor typo there. I've definitely been guilty of having typos on my portfolio because like, I don't go through my own work on my own site with the fine tooth comb as I do for clients who are paying me. Um, which is why when people message me about like typos in my blogs and stuff, I'm like, <laughs> it happens. Um, I, I do web copy. You know, I would change this a little bit to like about the client, like helping businesses produce web copy, something like really simple, but just like you focus and stuff like, here's who I am. I mean, sometimes it's hard cause it is your site. But you could do like about you over here and then like grab the client right out the gate here with the big text like hire me. Here's what I do. Here's how I help. Um, I thrive on creative challenges and enjoying. You know, I mean, this kind of sounds like a like a like a cover letter almost, which is a little bit, which is how most of us are trained to get work. And it's kind of like. That's why I hate like uh, so much of like job work has like trained us to like write like that and think like that when we're pitching clients. Um, you know, you've got to see cheesy shit like, oh, I enjoy dismantling problems, like all this bullshit that like means nothing because we have to change it up completely when we're pitching to people. So, um, I, I mean, I obviously get the sentiment. I thrive on creative challenges. I would just include like, okay, this is hire me. Here's how I help you. And this is like about me and what the kind of work you do and the things you offer. I've tried for the content right on those websites. Cool. Yeah. I always like that when you can actually link straight to a site that you've written for. That always helps. It always helps a lot because then they can see it. They can see an actual finished live portfolio piece that you've written, which is, um, clients love that. Wow. Great site too. Um, just in case, if you did write, obviously a lot of this, I would just for your own personal records, I would go through and get the screenshots of the things you've written because a lot of clients sometimes will change the site, take it down, go out of business. And then you don't have, um, <sighs> but anyway, just get screenshots for your own personal records in case they ever like close their site and you need to get these portfolio pieces for yourself, which is why in my portfolio, all of those are screenshots. Well, one, I've been writing for 10 years. So like at least half of those are now out of business or like still not alive, which is how business works. Most of them go under anyway. Okay. Resume. Bars of my credit as a blonde. Okay, I mean, this is your resume, so it's hard to be like, okay, yeah, you can't. Um, some of this I would send out. Um, freelancing, a little typo there. Um, self-employed and real estate. Like, what did you do then? What, what did you work on? This as a freelance writer, like, okay. I mean, you did extend that out. Like, worked on campaigns for various, you know, like, just the things that you've done. I mean, you, the pieces that are in your portfolio, I would just extend that out. Like, it just looks a little short. Like, a sentence only there. Um... Did my MBA.
I mean, like, you can include the school if it matters there. Um, this I would send out, like, campaigns you worked on, projects you think, skills you developed there. Just, like, flesh that out. You know, just make it all a little bit longer. I mean, I'd straight it short and right to the point. I like the design of it. I like how this is great. Work experience, education, very easy to find. Um, rates. I'm a personal fan of putting rates on a site because I think it helps... Obviously, I think you're still finishing that page. Um, I think it helps kind of make it clear and established to the client what you cost. Um, writing samples. Cool. Cool, cool. Wonderful. Okay, some of these little social links on the bottom I see go to just like the other one. Maybe this is a Wix thing. I don't know much about Wix. It's not really a platform I play on, but like some of these social media links on the bottom go to Wix's social profiles, which you like never want. <laughs> On this homepage, I would put this like car one, maybe like a title above because the green words over there has like words of like what it is. So you kind of know, but this one is just like, okay, like, you know, automobile company or like defense Honda. Like I would just put like little text above that so people know what that is. Cause it's not really that clear what that is. Uh... Cool. Also, I know here you had written, um, oh, right here, you have mentioned that you have some blog posts, real estate, and no, 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 all that. Um, but they're not on your portfolio, so either just like take those out or maybe put them in here of some kind, screenshots or something. Yeah, pretty solid. I mean, obviously, I know you're just probably getting started. In oh, I like the design of this. Cool. Maybe I should look into weights a little bit more. Um, yeah. Pretty solid. Obviously, you know, I assume you're getting started, but like since you have so many years in... Um, you know, other work experience through all these years, like you did your MBA, maybe I would just include like a little more about your past work experience and things you've worked on and things you've learned and things you've done because it kind of just looks like you're like 18, 19, like fresh out of college, you know, like there's just like, you could easily add in more things you've done and like experiences you've had and like other thing just to flesh it out for now and then obviously as you get more portfolio pieces you can flesh these all out anyway that's pretty much it i don't expect anyone really stayed all the way through these uh this long ass video that it's going to be uh mostly the people who are mostly i think the people who uh these are their portfolios like they probably just stayed and watched their while I like talked about it. But anyway, if anybody did make it to the end of the video, I appreciate the hell out of you. Wow, that was a lot. Next week, we'll be back with the final wrap up. I will show you kind of how I put mine together, how you can put it together, things you can do to make your portfolio. I mean, obviously, we've already gone over that, but more things you can do to put it all together and how and how to set up your site and all those things. So that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Holy hell, that was a long video. Thank you, everybody, who sent yours in. I think I got to everybody. Yes. Okay. I think God, I hope. Anyway, bye, guys.